I'm Joshua Sama, and I'm here with the Humane Society of Bay County with President Terry Davidson and Marketing Director Sean Brosnan. So can you guys tell me a little bit about the Humane Society here in Bay County? Sure. We, are, um, we have been in existence for 29 years, and we are a no-kill shelter. We, also, we actually went no-kill back in 2006, and uh, since then we um, are pretty much on our own. We have no federal funding, no support. We 100% we rely on donations, and um, it is our goal to help homeless animals find forever homes. Okay, okay. So tell me about your friend here. This is Henry. Henry is a four and a half year old, um, great Pyrenees, probably may have a little bit of something else in him, <laughs> but he was turned into animal control about um, four and a half to five months ago. Uh, he was in uh, rather bad shape and had, um, I guess you'd call it rather malnourished. And as you can see now, Henry looks really nice and his hair is all grown out and he's filled out and uh, has put on some weight, but um, Henry is a classic example of what you can find with um, animals in um, shelters. They don't look so great maybe when you see them behind um, their, in their cages and things, but you know, I mean, they're there for a reason. Nobody wants them. Yeah. And so they're not well cared for. But, I mean, you can see in four and a half months with some love and care and a, a good nutrition and a roof over his head, he's blossoming. And that's true of 95% of the animals. Yeah. Very few come in that um, have such bad issues that they can't be adopted. Yeah. So let's say somebody wanted to adopt a Henry or a cat or another dog. How would they go about doing so? Well, a, a lot of our people that come in that are looking for animals typically find it on the website first. They'll go on the website, say, for instance, Finding Henry or Finding, a, like, say, Lady is one of the dogs we have right now. They'll go and find her, and they'll come to the Animal and Adoption Center located at 2620 East 15th Street in front of Corn and Bullion, and they'll say, hey, look, I've been looking on the website. I, I found this dog that I'm interested in. You know, can, can I see her? And, you know, we'll take them back to a meet and greet session, and if they end up liking her or, you know, want to take it home, we do our adoption process starts with the paperwork. And, you know, that can typically take anywhere from, you know, two to four days minimum because we have references that we got to check we got to see if you actually own or can have an animal at your home if you rent um but yeah i mean that's it's, it's as simple as that it's 100 bucks for dogs 75 for cats um for the, all the fees of course include the spay and neutering microchipping um you know vaccinations that they need up until that point so yeah it's definitely it's well worth it for sure okay so Tell me a little bit about your locations. Are you guys still on 23rd Street? Nah, we moved in May. We're actually, like I just said, at 2620 East 15th Street is our Animal and Adoption Center. 1408 Harrison Avenue, which is the corner of 14th and Harrison, is our new thrift and gift store. It's 12,000 square feet of awesomeness. If you guys are looking for Christmas gifts or anything like that, it's, mm -hmm. it's got a lot of stuff there. Very so, nice store. Yeah, very good store. Very nice, sure. very nice. So, do you guys got any fundraisers, or since you guys aren't government funded, do you guys got any fundraisers mm -hmm. or upcoming events you guys like to talk about? Well, we stay busy. Uh, a, a big fundraiser we're having right now is next week. It's going to be next Friday and Saturday, December 9th and 10th, at Panama City Toyota. It's called the Keeping Kids and Pet Safe Project got a company that we teamed up with along with Toyota up north that does FBI um, fingerprinting for children. They're going to be doing that. We're going to have $10 microchipping for pets. We're going to have free Santa photos for kids and pets. And then, you know, we're just going to have refreshments and just a fun day. I think the Highway Patrol is going to be there, fire department, <laughs> all sorts of cool stuff. So Yeah, Ooh. microchipping is only $10. Yeah, so you can't beat that because a lot of places are like 70 and 80 So Ooh. 10 bucks is a real good good steal for some people. So mm. Sounds like it. So you guys sound like you stay busy. All, you guys the need <laughs> all the time. Volunteers? No, all the time. All the time. Yeah. Well, we, of course, we take volunteers all the time. I mean, we can look for like events. Um, like we were just saying, we have that event this week, uh, this next weekend, mm -hmm. um, and we continually have events all the time. And we'll have events that overlap each other. So yes, it's awesome if we could have someone that has run an event before or is, is good with animals come out there and help us with the people. Um, if you want to you know, visit our website at adoptme.org, there's a volunteer tab. You can click on that if anything else that you're interested in. If you want to be at our thrift store or walk animals or just, you know, if you're a vet tech experience, anything like that, mm -hmm. it, we're always looking for volunteers. That and foster homes, too. Oh, yes. Oh, foster yeah. homes. We're, we're, yeah. we're kicking up our uh, foster program again. We're starting off new and fresh, and that's going to start rolling out. We could always use foster homes for people. You know, if you can't actually adopt the animal right then and there, you can foster it up until the process of adopting. So. Yeah, I think that, that that's an option that seems to work real well for uh, military, you know, because they're only here for a certain amount of time and then they have to leave, but while they're here, it's a way for them to have some companionship without a long-term commitment. 
And so, in fact, that's, um, that's uh, where Henry went, was to someone who is in the, uh, Navy, one in the Navy base program over there, and um, that's what she's doing. Because she'll be shipping out, um, I don't know, maybe in a few more months or a year or something like that as soon as she finishes her classes. So. Oh, sounds good, sounds good. So can you tell me a little bit, um, can you tell me about the website and phone number yeah. one more time? Definitely, no, no, the website's adoptme.org. Um, and then the phone number, of course, for the Animal Adoption Center is 850-215-7120. Mm -hmm. You can call if you've got any questions. Uh, one thing we do want to make clear, because we do receive tons of phone calls with this, um, at our, and our staff is always overloaded with it, is that we are not animal control. <laughs> we are not affiliated <laughs> with Humane yes. Society <laughs> of America or United States at all. Like she had said earlier, our main goal is to give good forever homes to animals. And we do other stuff, you know, like food and all other kind of stuff for people, but we don't take strays. County ordinance stop us, stops us from taking strays. So if you have a stray, you got to call animal control dispatch about that. Um, we have no control of that. We have no policing agency. We have nothing at all. All we do is animal surrenders and rescues. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Definitely. No, thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> if you're a community event and would like to have publicity or just shouting out and telling the community who you are, then please contact us at mygcy at gmail.com. And from G.C. Wyatt and the Humane Society of Bain County, we're signing out.